short arm application. For indications where immobilization of the wrist is required, for example, distal fractures of the radius and ulna. Follow physician's instructions on the proper positioning of the limb. A common position is with the wrist in slight dorsal flexion, neutral with regards to radial and ulnar deviation, and in slight supination. Select a stockinette that will not be restrictive at the widest part of the limb. Make sure you use enough stockinette to allow foldbacks at the distal and proximal ends. Make a small cut in the stockinette for the thumb. Now, roll up the stockinette before applying it to the limb to lessen the pressure while applying. Roll on and remove all wrinkles and creases. Cut a 6-inch length of 1-inch stockinette to protect the thumb area. Roll up the distal end, making a small cut in the proximal end, and slide it over the thumb. Another option is to cut a 6-inch length of 1-inch stockinette, then make a 1/2 inch cut at one-third of the length. Slide the stockinette over the wrist and apply the cut section over the thumb for protection. Using 2-inch or 3-inch padding starting at the wrist, go through the web space twice and work toward the elbow, overlapping by 50%. Applying with a slight tension will allow the padding to lie down smoothly and have a snug fit. Additional padding may be required for bony prominences. Cut the stockinette distal to the thumb side for an easy fold back. Begin by putting on protective gloves before applying the cast tape. Dip 2-inch or 3-inch cast tape in water, squeezing 1 to 3 times. Then remove it from the water and squeeze 1 time to remove excess water. Start wrapping the cast tape at the wrist, working distally to the hand. Make a cut at the thumb to easily pass through the web space. Curl the cut edges of the cast tape under to create a smoother edge. Pass a second time through the web space and continue working toward the elbow, overlapping 50%. Fold back the stockinette at the proximal and distal ends, creating a cuffed end for a more comfortable fit. Roll down the stockinette at the thumb. Now, take a second roll or use the rest of the first roll of cast tape. Start wrapping the cast tape at the wrist, working distally to the hand. Make a cut at the thumb to easily pass through the web space. Curl the cut edges of the cast tape under to create a smoother edge. Continue working toward the elbow, overlapping 50%. Be sure to leave approximately one half inch of stockinette exposed to leave a soft end. Mold the cast with the palm of your hands and check for any limitations in range of motion. Check for any pressure points that may cause irritation. And you are finished.